Hello everyone. Our little reading group has uh, arrived at Catullus 51, which is a different kind of a, a metrical system from what we had been experiencing before. And so here's a brief presentation on the uh, meter that you see there. It's, it's called the uh, sapphic stanza. And uh, you can see across the top right there that it is a hendecasyllabic setup for a lot of the lines. So 11 syllables. But you'll also see that the uh, metrical scheme extends beyond an individual line. It's not like the others uh, you've seen before, although it is kind of like LJ couplet, where the second line completes the, the whole rhythm of the first line. So you have three lines of this hendecasyllabic meter, and then the fourth line sort of wraps it up. So let's take a look at the hendecasyllabic lines first. And uh, there's, there they are. You can see that it's repeated three times. So once you get one down, you've got the first three, and then the fourth just uh, wraps it up. So let's take a look at the first line. You can see it's long, short, excuse me, long, short, long, and then an and caps, and then a long, short, short, long, short, long, long. All right, so let's uh, read this through. Let's uh, assume that this and caps is a uh, short for now. All right, so we're going to go like this yeah. and that. Okay, so long, short, long, short, long, short, short, long, short, long, long. Okay, crazy, huh? Long, short, long, short, long, short, short, long, short, long, long. Next, because it's the same thing, right? Da di da di da di di da di da 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 di da di da da di da di da da. And then the fourth, da di di da da. Do it again. Da di da di da di di da di da. Da di da di da di di da di da 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 di da di da di di da di da 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 di di da da. Okay, that's this. That's the setup. I mean, that that's what it is. It seems kind of crazy, and it doesn't really fit English well, as as we'll see when we do some more examples of it. Now let's assume that this and cap is. Uh, going to be a long. Let's see what we have there. Okay, real slow now. Be long, short, long, 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 short, short, long, short, long, 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 short, long, 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 short, short, long, short, long, 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 short, long, 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 short, short, long, short, long, short, long, excuse me. And then long, short, short, long, 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 short, short, long, long. I'll have some French fries. All right, there it is. All right, so the, the basic layout is this, and I've put the and caps X back in. So how do you get comfortable with this? Well, you can walk around the room and do this a hundred times, or um, what I like to do when I'm learning a new uh, meter is to look for English that's been written in that meter and then practice with that. So before we turn to uh, Catullus 51, let me show you a couple of poems that I found on uh, Wikipedia that are written in this sapphic stanza. Okay, here's one right here. Um, let's see, I hope you can see this all right. There. All right, it sounds like, it's going to sound like this. Okay, remember the meter is ba di da di da di di da di da da. So, Writing sapphics well is a tricky business. Writing sapphics well is a tricky business. Lines begin and end with a pair of trochees. This is very clever. In between them dozes a dactyl rhythm, rising and falling, rising and falling. I think uh, the original has a punctuation mark there. I guess that would be uh, okay. Let's try it that way. 
Writing sapphics well is a tricky business. Lines begin and end with a pair of trochees. In between them dozes a dactyl rhythm, rising and falling. There. Okay, let me do something else that might make this uh, a little easier for you to see. Okay, there. You can see what I did is I, I broke out the first line into syllables and put them underneath the way they scan. Uh, I hope I've syllabified these words correctly, but let's have a look here. Writing sa fix well is a tricky biz. That's here. Business, I don't know. Biz business. Business. So in this line, uh, they're all going to scan short in the uh, and caps. So writing suffix well is a tricky business. Okay, and then and then the second line, lines begin and end with a pair of trochees. Lines begin and end with a pair of trochees. And then um, the third line. Okay, and there it is. In between them doses a dactyl rhythm. In between them doses a dactyl rhythm. And then the last line, that's simple, rising and falling. I'll put them in. There we go. Rising and falling. Again, from the top. Writing suffix well is a tricky business. Lines begin and end with a pair of of troll keys in between them doses a dactyl rhythm rising and falling okay good all right so that's the the basic setup of it now now i'm going to give you another poem and i want you to to work it out and then come back to the next uh, presentation and we'll discuss it okay there there's here's your assignment you're going to work on this and um, I'm going to work on this, try to put it into that meter. I got that right. Am I spelling all this right? Our reluctant lines are no good since. Okay, there you go. So when you come back to the next lecture, we'll talk about this, uh, work on it some more, and then finally we'll look at um, Catullus, Catullus 51.